In this episode of the Media Share tutorial series, we're going to be implementing a share that utilizes other applications direct shares. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. Okay, I just want to show you another, actually quite a quick method of how we can add a uh, share to our application, which is going to call down to other applications direct shares. Um, their direct shares might be contacts or users themselves besides the application. So let's get, let's get this set up and you'll see what I mean when we run the example. Okay, so in this case, I'm not going to add the direct share in the menu. I'm just going to set up a long click on the image. You hold your finger on the image, and then we'll bring up a share, uh, a share menu. So first thing we need to do is to add on-click listener. I'm going to add that to the main activity itself. So we do that by calling implements, and it'll be a view dot on-click listener as such. Now we need to implement the method for that, and that method's going to be on long click, so I'm just going to select OK. There we are, there. OK, now before I forget, let's set that. We need to set that uh, method, set that listener. So it's got to be in the full screen image view is where I want to add my on click listener. So it's called full screen image view. Then I'll just go set on long click listener, setting that to the image view. And then we just provide the context of the activity itself because we're implementing it in the main activity. Okay, now we can go down to the menu there and I'm gonna change that to true because we are gonna consume this long click. Okay, first thing we need to do is to create the shared intent. And from the previous tutorial series, the easy shared intent tutorial series, we actually had a method to create our share intent. So in this case, I'm going to be lazy and reuse that method, which is actually a good software practice reusing, uh, uh, reusing existing functionality. So I'm going to create an intent here. Call it share intent. And just call the create share intent method as such. Right, now that we've got the share intent, it's just a simple method of me starting an activity with that intent. So if I call start activity, and now I call intent, create chooser. We can just add our share intent. And I'm just gonna hard code some text in there. You'd probably wanna do that in the string XML file. And I'm just gonna call it send to, just as a reference. So we come on on there and that. And that's what we have to do here. So basically, we're going to pass the intent again with the intent action send, which is very important. And we're specifying the type here, image. So this is going to be sort of contextual because it understands the type of data we want to send to. The actual share dialog should pop up any applications related to where we can send images to or via. Okay, let's, let's try running that and see what happens. Applications now started. As usual, I will record that so you can see what's happening. Okay, I'm just going to click on the same image again there. Um, I've still left the easy share menu icons at the top here. But I'm just going to long press on the image itself. And as you can see here, um, we've got at the bottom half of the screen, we've got the applications we can share too. But notice at the top here, and I'm going to blur them out in my software development because I don't want my personal friends showing up on my YouTube videos. They probably won't be friends after that, so I will blur out their names and details. But at the very top, um, what, what's, what, what I'm seeing here are actually individuals themselves. So I could actually share the image to any of those individuals by just clicking on the icon name. So I don't actually have to drill a, go down to the application and drill down to the contact. I, can go straight 
to the user themselves and that's provided to us so I think this is from Facebook Messenger app is implementing direct shares where it can return the actual contacts your actual Facebook friends themselves and provide it to us on this EV share, EV share method so in certain things like this I prefer it you know less button clicks the better basically so that concludes this tutorial basically we learned how to access other applications direct shares by starting an activity with our shared intent itself and selecting the intent create chooser and that's enough information to pass through with the action send intent for other applications to monitor on basically their direct share listeners and return back to us and the prime example I showed there was a Facebook messenger we'll see the actual context and shells being displayed above the actual applications which is a better share experience provided to us on our application and it's sort of the future you can see Android OS going with the way applications themselves can listen to sharing requests and provide specific uh, details especially in names of contacts for example anyway so that concludes this tutorial if you want to get notified of following tutorials or tutorials that I'm working on don't forget to click on the subscribe button to this channel and if you have any questions, please don't put them to the YouTube. I just don't have time to read the questions anymore. I'm just so busy. If you urgently require my help, I will have to create some of my time available, and that will be paid time. Um, there's a link in the description for Code Mentor where I provide paid consultancy support. And thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial. Bye for now.